Hey beautiful Virgo, how are you guys doing? Newbies, I am a Virgo also. What's up subs? We the shit. <laughs> I'm playing. Sorry for those of you that don't like swearing. Oh, ten of wands. Wow. Some of us, we're just going to jump right into it, my darling Virgos. My subs know that. Please remember to give me a thumbs up the moment I resonate with you. You don't have to give me a thumbs up. I like to have thumbs up for the ones that I resonate with, all right? So just off the top of my head, my fellow Virgos, I definitely feel like some of us are still very much, um, we're guarded. We're ready to leave a situation. It might have happened already, Virgo. Sorry for the lighting. It's a very hot day here today. That's why I don't even have the window open because they say it helps with the uh, whatever. Anyway, I'm just babbling on. Mercury's in retrograde, so let's stay focused. I feel Virgo, a lot of us are, we're done with something, right? But it's still playing in the back of our minds. And I reckon this could be someone that we've known for a while. For some of you, as long as, as, as long as, uh, as long as someone from way back, all right? Could be as far as our childhood, if that makes sense, Virgo. Definitely guarded. Someone's guarded right now or has been guarded. You know, it's almost like, like I said just a minute ago, I've left the situation, you've left the situation, but at the same time, it still lingers. There's some sort of, you know, lingering there. Like I said, you know, it's done. You know, this is this is moving on. Moving on from this situation. A lot of us have moved on from this situation. Regardless of, of um, how we feel. We were very guarded. Maybe we were very, we were very guarded with the situation, Virgo. Or it could be that they were very guarded with the situation. It might be that children were the situation, right? Who knows? Um, but I definitely feel like we've come past that now. With the six of swords there. It's like changing, it's changing your mindset, your life and everything else. Look, we've got the three of cups there. Back to us beautiful Virgos. I definitely, definitely can feel it myself. Even though Mercury's in retrograde and that is our ruling planet. So communication is not great at, in this period of time. Once you know that, once you know the telltale signs and the triggers and what could happen and stuff like that. You know, it's like you're prepared. We are prepared. The sun there, beautiful. Happiness, joyful times in our life. Celebrating the good times. Celebrating either how little or large, whatever it may be. This is humbled Virgo. Humbled. Remember what's not serving you. You need to let it go. I see a lot of passion here. A lot of fire. Right now. You have every reason to be happy. You have every reason to go for it. A lot of you are also in that time in your mind where you're like, it's not about sticking to the rules. I feel that. I can feel that energy. Remember, I'm a Virgo. It's not about doing uh, what you're supposed to do. And when I say that, and look, I say everything with the biggest heart, Virgo. When I say that, I kind of mean, you know, conformity, doing what you're supposed to do. We're told as we grow up that we should, you know, get educated and so forth. Uh, get married and then have children and so forth, right? That's the way society says we're supposed to live. But I feel a lot of us Virgos are living our own life. If anything, that what's happened for 2020 is taught us Virgos. It's like, girl, I ain't got time 
to be wasting. I'm going to do what I'm passionate about, what brings me joy, what brings me happiness. I'm going to make the impossible possible. I'm going to lay all the cards out on the table. I have manifested this happiness and nothing's going to get in my way. I've moved away from whatever this is. It could be childhood traumas. Remember, this is a very general reading. You guys could be moving away from childhood traumas and healing. You know, that's the old Virgo. Paranoid, wary, fearful. Fear. Fear is like, it's, it's you know, it's an oppressor. It can bring actual bad health benefit, benefits on us. The chariot. We've got the power. We're in our power right now. Things are fantastic. Some of us are building foundations. Some of us are really looking towards a 5, 10, 20 year plan. It's not about just the next meal. Do you know what I mean? And I'm proud of us for that. I commend you. If one thing us Virgos do is, is really kind of buckle down when needs be. Queen of Cups. And this is the Queen. This is wise. Been there, done that, worn the t-shirt. I know what it feels like to be bullied. I know what it feels like to be hated. I know what it feels like to, to be heartbroken. I can emphasize with people. I can give love. A lot of you are able to give love from, from getting over childhood traumas and from healing and bringing happiness not only into your life but into others sharing it with the world you know it's come right back round to the beginning with the magician there you're in your power and you've got a whole lot of love to give this reading is blowing me away i actually want to cry i want to cry i mean as much of us wow as much of us as uh blah, i forgot what i was gonna say there queen of pentacles the very kind energy that we bring. No sexual preference. You do not have to be a female. Um, when listening to this reading. Able to put a smile on not just your face. But other people's face. You know. Advice. Stability. Security. That feeling of home. It's fantastic. But let's not forget. You're definitely still especially single virgos because i am single we ain't got time for no for no bs we really ain't got time quite frankly as, as loving as we are we are really not wasting our time because we can sniff it a mile off we can sniff bullshit a mile off right and for those of you that are with your lovers and you're in a happy you're definitely happy things are good right now don't fuck that up <laughs> you are in you know some of the best years of your life and i'm not talking about me i'm talking about a lot of you this is really good and uh, without going into deepness but the last seven even up to 12 years for some of us has been shit and that's a long time to not have luck on your side jupiter to not have jupiter on your side to not have um you know, to be struggling. Nobody wants that. So for any of you that are struggling right now, listen, manifestation plays a big key in this. What you manifest, right? Just look back. Really sit there. Look back at yourself and say, wow. Wow. And I'm going to even leave this reading with these two. Actually, I'll, get, I'll grab one of those cards in the far corner. You can't see before we go. But look at these that jumped out. Time for a celebration. This is the four of friggin' ones you know some of you are really got twin flame energy around you above you underneath you with you make sense of that okay time for a celebration abundant rewards for hard work my darlings release yourself from burdensome situations for those of you that haven't released right please do a very happy ending Coming full frigging circle, spiritual growth and insight. That's the shit that makes me want to cry. I'm so glad I did today's reading because I thought I'm going to be too hot. That's why I didn't burn the incense. Last, last time I couldn't breathe on Monday. Freaking hell, shower of abundance, guys. It's one of the best cards to heal your financial situation. First, give us your worries concerning money, okay? Manifestation, guys. 
We will guide you in order to show you how to create and accept abundance. Y'all better accept it. You deserve it. As we work together, your financial situations will heal as fast as you allow. Oh, it's emotional. I love you guys, okay? And remember, stay grounded, okay? That is what we're best at. Stay grounded, my darlings. Do not, when things are great, sometimes we kind of go up and, you know, and almost elevate and we actually come off groundness. Groundness is not a word, I don't think. But once we come off the ground with excitement, you know, we have to be careful to stay grounded, no matter the situation. If you guys are going through shit right now, stay humbled, manifest beautiful thoughts and I promise it will come to you because things are definitely the worst is over for Virgo like we've got I think another 12 years of greatness like luck is on our side for the next 12 years isn't that amazing so guys love peace and light wherever you are in the world please remember to give me a thumbs up like share subscribe all of that jazz and I'll catch you most certainly on motivational Monday bye for now guys Mwah.